What's going on everybody and welcome back to JJD TV. I'm your host Josh and we're coming at you today with some transfer news. Now, this is a story that's been ongoing for the majority of summer and it's what's going to happen to Richie Larea. Now, we all know Richie Larea is one of the most important players for the Canadian national team. He's featured in the majority of the matches leading up to them qualifying for the World Cup, but he wanted to follow his dream and his dream was to play in Europe. So when the opportunity was there to leave TFC in January to go to Nottingham Forest in the championship, he took it and I give huge credit to him for doing that. He thought there was an opportunity for him to feature as a left wing back, but he lost out to that position to a center mid and Jack Colback. So things really didn't go his way and he didn't get almost any minutes leading up to the end of the season and of course to Nottingham Forest getting promoted, which was a really cool experience for him to, to do. But at the end of the day, he didn't feature in the championship, which probably meant now in the Premier League with the investment and the new personnel coming in, he wasn't going to feature in the Premier League. So those links were out there. What's going to happen to him? Is he going to get loaned out to a championship club? There was links to Belgium, links to the Netherlands, and of course the big links going back to the MLS, specifically TFC, who as Gareth Wheeler's reported, were always interested in maybe bringing Richie Larea back if the opportunity presented itself. Well. Steve Buffery tweeted out that TFC are closing in on a deal to bring Richie Larea back on loaning from Nottingham Forest. It was also confirmed by multiple other sources and more details came out that Richie Larea will be arriving in Toronto on Thursday night. But there are some complications. In order to complete this transaction, TFC will have to move up in the allocation order. Something that the team has been trying to do for several months in order to bring Richie Larea back. However, FC Cincinnati, who currently hold the number one spot, have been stubborn because they are looking to do a deal of their own to bring in Chelsea FC center back Matt Miazga. Now, this is a very interesting deal. The deal is close to getting done, which could open the door to Richie's return. But FC Dallas also sit under Cincinnati, so they would move up. And it's basically a situation where TFC will probably have to pay some money to trade up and get this opportunity. Now, there's a lot more details that have to come out. I'm not sure how complicated these steps could be, but the fact that Richie is going to Toronto probably suggests that this deal could be close to getting done. So let's talk about what this means. There's a couple different situations right now because I was excited to see Richie take this opportunity to go to Europe, follow his dream. But at the end of the day, if you're not gonna play leading up to the World Cup, it's a bit of a disaster. Now, this is a loan move. He's being loaned back to the MLS, to Toronto, where he's comfortable, where the team loves him, the city loves him. He will play leading up to this World Cup. But he will only play as long as TFC are able to play. And that's basically leading up to the World Cup because they're probably not going to make the playoffs. But regardless, it gives him those minutes that he needs to get fit. And then he plays the World Cup. And guess what happens after that? World Cup's done. His loan ends. He's back from Nottingham Forest. That could also mean he can be loaned out and maybe make that other risk somewhere else. Because if you get loaned out right now to a club in the championship whose season has already begun, He's kind of a similar situation as he already was. He's on the outside looking in at an already solidified starting 11. This way with this TFC team down that right hand side, the opportunity is there. Richie's going to go to TFC. He's going to feature on the right hand side, get a play with Bernadeschi and Insigne. A pretty cool experience for him leading up, getting back on form, being very healthy to compete for a starting spot, which I believe right now he might have lost out to to Alistair Johnston for the World Cup. World Cup comes to a close. He returns to Nottingham Forest, probably won't feature. And then he could then take an opportunity to be loaned to a championship side, a, a, a team in Belgium or the Netherlands. And then, yes, maybe he doesn't get in right away, but it gives him the opportunity because there's no pressing World Cup that comes to him. So for me, this move makes a lot of sense because it gives you guaranteed minutes and an environment you're very comfortable with right now, but it doesn't end his European dream. Because like I mentioned, he will return and other opportunities will be out there to have to fight his way into a, a starting 11. And if he doesn't join the hottest team that there almost was in football when he joined Forest last year, he could join a team that has its struggles and has opportunities that could arise at right back, left back, and Richie could take that. So this deal to me makes perfect sense to get him on full health, full shape leading up to this World Cup, playing the World Cup, and still set him up for success down the line. So I like this move a lot. Let me know what you guys think about the deal as well. It's a very interesting one. I'm excited to see him back in the MLS and get a play with a very different TFC side who just keep the homecomings coming. Try to, yeah, homecomings coming. That's what they're doing with, with uh, Richie Larea coming back on top of Daniel Henry coming back and Mark Anthony Kay plus the Italian trio that has come in. It, it has been a wild few months and I'm excited to see what Richie can do. So let me know if you guys like this deal, if you agreed with my kind of perspective of the deal or if you think that there's some other things and he could be back to TFC long term. Let me know down in the comments and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, as always, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, friends.